everyone happy Tuesday I am back with a new music Tuesday it's been I know about a month a little over a month since I've last done one I think the last one was like my Grammy thing maybe and that was like February 10th so yeah it's been over a month so hey I am back and ready to talk about some new music it is what is it March 19th and Justin Timberlake's new album the 2020 experience debuted it's out it's in stores and you can purchase it um do I have my copy absolutely this is the target exclusive edition and it has two extra songs on the back um dress on and body count what is that oh that's my camera reflecting and i love the entire album all 12 tracks it has been seven years since Ju justin timberlake um came out with an album seven years let me just tell you target the deluxe edition uh, or the exclusive is $9.99. It's originally $13.99, but when I bought it, it was $9.99. There's my receipt. Where is it? Right there. And I also bought Imagine Dragons. Like I was saying, it's been seven years, you guys, since he put out an album. I... I don't even know how... Seven years went by. Like... But the, and the thing about it, about Justin, is he was gone, but he wasn't gone, you know? Like, he was still in movies, and he was in other people's songs, and he was still a very great presence, you know, in the music industry. Justin Timberlake is going to have a legacy. Like, he really, really is. His legacy is starting now. Like, the fact that he can be gone for seven years and then come back and still be just as loved as he was back in 2006, is that what that is? With um, Future Sex Love Sound. And even with Justified and when he was with NSYNC, like Justin Timberlake has this thing about him. He, I don't even know, like I cannot get enough of this guy and it's not just because he's ridiculously fine. Like that has nothing to do with it. Well, that's a lie, it has some to do with it, but he can keep my attention regardless of what he's doing. He's hilarious. He's talented. He's just so gifted. And I love the direction that he took with this album. I mean, hold up. I love the direction he took with this album. Okay, here's my thing. Justin Timberlake has always had soul. He's always had a base of R&B in him. Always. Yes, his music was pop. Yes, he was in a pop boy band. But... If you were a true fan of Justin Timberlake like I was, you could tell from his mannerisms, from his history, how he talked about music, how he embraced music. He was a lover of music, of soul, of R&B. And so when he put out this album, I wasn't surprised by the content on it at all. I loved the soul feel of it. I loved some of the tribute and the payback and the acknowledgement of Marvin Gaye, of Stevie Wonder, of the Jackson Fives. There were so many elements of Prince. There were so many elements of people that have influenced him as an artist on this album. And some people didn't like it because they said it wasn't pop enough. Well, Justin Timberlake isn't strictly pop. And like I said, if you know him as a true fan of him, you wouldn't know that. And you, this would be a perfect example of who Justin Timberlake is. Yes, Justified was pop. Future Sex Love Sound was a hybrid of pop and R&B. And now this one is, is you know, the soul and the R&B of who Justin Timberlake is. Now, he did make an announcement um, yesterday that this was only the first half of his 2020 experience. He's going to come out with 10 more songs later on this year, giving us a total of 20 songs, 2020. That makes sense. That's genius. And who knows, the next album may be his pop side, or it may be more of what we got on this volume one right here. But I love it. I My favorite song on this is uh, Tunnel Vision. I love that song. But I, I love um, Let the Groove Get In as well and then Mirrors. Um, Mirrors is, that's the regular Justin sound that we're used to hearing. The pop, 
radio friendly sound that we're used to hearing. I love the lyrics in Mirrors. You can really, really hear how his relationship with Jessica Biel has influenced him musically in this album. I love seeing him with the wedding ring, you guys. I am super jealous of Jessica. I'm jealous, but I'm happy for her. But I love seeing him with that wedding ring. There is something about married men paying tribute and acknowledging their love of their wives through their music that I just love. And I really feel like he was his his love for Jessica was coming through on this. Now, let me tell you, when Suit and Tie came out when he debuted that song, I didn't like it because it was a great song. I liked it because it was his song. There is a difference. If some other artist had came out with Suit and Tie, I'd be like, "What the hell?" No, this no. But because it was Justin Timberlake and because he could only he only he could bring the swag to that song that he brought, I ended up loving it. But when he came out with Mirrors, I loved, I loved that song. I it was the lyrics that got me more than anything. Like I kind of I was listening to those lyrics and I actually started to tear up a little bit because he was talking about how the person who made him who he was was right in front of him the whole time and it took him going away and realizing that he couldn't be himself without her. You know, he, she's his half, his other half. She's his reflection. I was like, wow, you know, it's beautiful the way that these words were laid out like that. Now I know he had some co-writers and everything on this album, so I'm not saying he did it all on his own, but he had a hand in it. And so you guys know how I feel about people who participate in writing their own songs. I love the whole album. Um, Push Your Love Girl is another great one, but Tunnel Vision. I really just love Tunnel Vision and Mirrors are my top tracks on this album as well as Let the Groove Get In. At the very end of Let the Groove Get In, it's some very almost, you know, reminiscent of Earth, Wind and Fire at the end. Just let the groove get in all night long. You can let the groove get in all night long. I just feel Motown-ish when I hear that and that's how you know that is who Justin is from his core. So I am so happy, so, so happy with this album. Um, I cannot wait for volume two. Um, he's going out on summer tour with Jay-Z and I'm not a Jay-Z fan. You guys, I'm really, really not. And I'm not gonna pay money. Cause when I go see Justin, I'm probably gonna do VIP. Um, I'm not gonna pay VIP money to go see Justin and Jay-Z. I'm just not, I'm not that thrilled about Jay-Z and I'm not gonna pay all that money to go see him when I really just want to see Justin. Look at this packaging of the CD here. It's, you know, JT, the 2020 experience. Um, and then you open it up and look at the CD. Like it's almost like a vinyl. It mimics a vinyl, which is really, really awesome. I really think that's really clever because he's trying to bring back the old school, you know, Motown-ish. What does he have his band called? The Tennessee Kids or something. Just a real old school big band feel. So I love this vinyl. Then his, the uh, album art is just gorgeous. Okay, we know Justin Timberlake is a really, really handsome guy. We know this. And then there's that. And then the inside, that picture right there. My gosh, this is just a really, really handsome man. And he brought back the whole suit and tie element. Now, you know all these young bucks out here are going to be going out to Men's Warehouse and to Sears and all in places to go get them some suit and ties because they want to be suited and booted like JT. Now you know that's going to happen. You just know it. Um, so yeah, just all this album art. It's just, it's some beautiful album art and I just love it. Look at that suit. Like, oh, I just love that. But um, yeah, Justin did a hell of a job promoting himself. He didn't even need to. We know who you are, boo-boo. You don't ever need to promote to us, but that is what an artist does. I was talking to a friend yesterday about the difference between Justin Timberlake's promotion tour and Brandy's promotion tour. Brandy had no promotion tour. So, and so her album wasn't as acknowledged. You know, that was my first New Music Tuesday was talking about how hyped I was for Brandy's album. And I was really upset that it didn't do as well as it could have, but she didn't promote it. She did not promote it. Brandy's audience has now grown up and it's almost underground again, her audience. It's weird. But um, JT's um, audience stretches from 
young girls, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 year old girls, all the way to girls my age, because Justin Timberlake was in sync. He was Mickey Mouse Club when I was little. So I grew up with Justin Timberlake. Um, so he has a bigger birth or bigger breath. And so does Brandy, because she had Moesha and all that. But I don't know. All I can basically say is that Justin promoted his butt off and Brandy didn't. But that's just me looking from the outside in. I don't know what the internal struggle was there. But yeah, he was on Jimmy Fallon for a whole week. Now name an artist that you know that can go on Jimmy Fallon Monday through Friday in one week and not seem like a narcissist. Justin Timberlake is the only one that I know that can do that. As a matter of fact, there's an article from Relevant Magazine where they reviewed Justin Timberlake's album. I'm going to link that down below so you guys can go see it. That um, album review was perfect. It was spot on. So um, some of the stuff I'm talking about is from that um, review. So I'll link that down below. Um, and then he had Saturday Night Live. What was that? Saturday Night Live was on March 9th. And then 11, March 11th through the 15th was Jimmy... Fallon. So he was in New York City, I think it was Studio 30, for two weeks in New York. Two weeks. That is dedication to your album. That is dedication and hard work and blood, sweat and tears for your craft. Justin Timberlake has earned more respect from me than he even had before. And he already had a lot. So I just love his work ethic. I love his understanding, his perception his soul for music because he even said that he wants when he was talking about why he comes out every seven years or every so often why he doesn't come out with music until he's fully ready he wants to always enjoy that experience he wants that new birth experience every single time he cuts an album he doesn't want to have to cut an album because his popularity has gone down or his hype has gone down his hype has never gone down you can tell because he's been gone for seven years and now he's back and his hype is still there. But I respect that to not just come out with crap just because you can. That is genius. And he's very strategic. He is a genius at what he does. And I respect that man. He is fine. <laughs> he is talented. He is smart. It's amazing what he's done. And I cannot wait for part two. I really, really can. And it's coming out, according to Questlove, it's going to come out around November. JT said he's not going to give a specific release date, but it is coming. Ten more songs are coming. You already know that Timbaland was involved with this project. And Justin Timberlake has been so intelligent. Like I said, he's really smart when it comes to his music and his craft. Like, Stick with what works. Stick with what is good, what's great, what makes you who you are. And he stuck with Timbaland. I mean, come on. Every time Justin works with Timbaland, it's a success. It's an A-plus piece of work. And Timbaland is a freaking production genius. So, Justin, like I said, he is hot. He's talented. He's hilarious. He's smart. He's just all these things. So, him continuing to work with Timbaland and all these other great producers and writers is so, so, it's great. Stick with what works. I know people always like to experiment and stuff. Maybe you can experiment, you know, experiment with the people that have helped make you a success. And Timbaland was an integral part of uh, Justin's success story once he went solo. So, great job, JT, on keeping your community tight, keeping them with you and carrying them with you along your journey. I think that's absolutely fantastic. That is all I have to say about it. I don't want to talk in circles, but you guys, I am so excited for this album. Let me know if you've been listening to it. I listened to it when it first started streaming on iTunes last week, so I know I have everything committed to memory, committed to my heart right now. So I will be listening to it all week. If you follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, you know, all those places, then you're going to see my tweets and my posts about Justin Timberlake because I am on him right now. I am so proud and so happy and so excited for him. So 
yeah that's all i have to say like i said leave a comment down below letting me know if you've gotten the album if you're going to get the album if you're streaming it if you've heard it your opinion everything i want to know what you think about anything that i've said if you disagree if you agree i would love to know everything so i will stop talking now because you can tell i'm very passionate about this and i can go on for days but I will talk to you guys next week for uh, next week's episode of New Music Tuesday where I think I'm going to talk about Ima Imagine Dragons. I'm not sure, but probably. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.